This is our inaugural anti-racism and medical education symposium. And it is based on the work that we are doing at the health department around CIRCA, which is the Coalition to End Racism and Clinical Algorithms. The point of the coalition is to basically do race conscious work and to think through how we're going to reduce disparities and inequities by utilizing race in a way that's gonna help us actually attack the systems and the structures that are creating inequities in the first place. I'm really delighted to be at this particular symposium because we have bright minds from across this region who are committed to dismantling racism, specifically in medical education. It's such an honor to be here because this is where all like-minded individuals are coming together to network and to talk about what tangible actions we can take to initiate more DEI in our um, curriculum, but also what faculty can do, what institutions can do to make sure that we set measures goals for ourselves. This event was interesting because it seemed like a way to kind of just learn more from a group of like peers from different levels, um, whether they're students or full medical professionals, about their perspectives on what it really means to make change that combats racism within medicine. I just saw a lot of gaps and flaws in the system that I, in the curriculum that I was learning in and I wanted to be a part of the change to make it better and to improve it for years to come. Well, this work has always been something important to me as a black woman, I'm first generation. So it's always been essential to me and important to me to be able to make sure that everyone feels heard and everyone feels included, especially in health realms. I hope to see more um, DEI initiatives incorporated directly into our medical curriculum. And I want to see that students are getting a lot of discussions and courses based on what healthcare disparities really are rooted in racism and how we can change that. Something that I'm hoping to see more of is schools actively receiving input from students and faculty members about what things need to change to make our patients' lives better and to improve their care. This is personal for me. I have people in my family, my own husband, my own daughter, who are or have been impacted by health inequities. I want to make sure that my family that people who look like me, that our entire nation have access to reach their own health goals. That's when we know we're really doing a good job. It's not only that we're closing the racial gap, but we're also closing the gap that exists with American healthcare. There's always something that can be done, whether it is learning about somebody else's experience, whether it's talking to your administrators, whether it's advocacy. There's something that we can all do, um, no matter how small, because at the end of the day, things that might seem small are actually much bigger.